What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. How are we doing, guys? And welcome to a new video here on Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. By request from you guys, the Bear Pack, we're going to start dropping an NBA game predictions in addition to our daily NBA player prop videos. So each of us are going to give you guys our best one or two game predictions for the NBA games for each night. Uh, these are games for tonight, Wednesday, January 11th, and we're going to start with Trey. Yeah, we like to listen to the Bear Pack, so if you guys give us any recommendations or constructive criticism in the comments, we always love to hear what you guys have to say. But I'm going to give you guys one pick, and also make sure to go check out my picks on the site, Bears Profit Plays. I give one free and member play out every day, and I've been on a roll. But I'm going to take the Bulls money line in this matchup. This game features two teams that are trying to fight for the Eastern Conference play-in. The Bulls are currently the 10th seed. Wizards are the 12th seed. But this game is pretty interesting for me, even though these teams are struggling this year. The Bulls have been on a roll, beating the Nets, 76ers, and the Jazz before falling short in Boston on Monday. So they have been rolling here recently, and Zach Levine is a huge contributor on that. If you guys watch our player prop videos, you guys probably know that. He's averaging 30 in his last four games. He's been on a roll. And the Bulls might have the most efficient offense in the NBA, ranking fifth in field goal percentage and sixth in three-point percentage. That's absolutely absurd that they're not scoring more, more points per game, but it's also because <laughs> they're arguably the slowest-paced team in the NBA. Mm -hmm. And now flipping over to the Wizards. The Wizards are 7-10 and 10 without Beal this year, getting blown out in their most two recent games by an average of 19 points. They've been getting blown out here recently. And the Wizards are going to be without Beal in this game again, and Washington has already been struggling with their depth issues this season. That yet again leaves the scoring on Porzingis and Kuzma's shoulders, so I'm not too sure if that's a good bet for the Wizards because Porzingis and Kuzma have both struggled against the Bulls historically, barely combining for 40 points per game in their last five matchups against the Bulls. So, that, so they've been struggling against the Bulls' length. So I'm going to take the Bulls' money line in this matchup. I think it's the right point. Minus 112 is a good payout for this. Yeah, Trey, and I'm looking at my phone right now. Um, also says that Kristaps might be out for this game. He's questionable. So that would also be a huge, huge, huge bump for the Bulls. Uh, so this might be a value line. So get it in while you can. But I'm going to go ahead and go next. I really wanted to go Pelicans here at plus nine and a half. But I love the Milwaukee Bucks money line against the Hawks even more tonight. Uh, for starters, the Hawks will be without big man Clint Capella in this matchup. And that's going to be a big, big problem for them. Uh, Capella is dealing with a calf injury. and He's going to miss one to two weeks with that. It's going to be a problem because the Hawks already surrender 54 points per game in the paint. That is 26 worst in the NBA. And if you take away the big man, it's not a stretch to say they are the worst team at guarding the paint altogether. To add insult to injury, uh, they're going to welcome in the Bucks, who have the most dominant big man in the league. It is debatable, but it really isn't. Uh, Giannis played like a cupcake last game against the Knicks. Couldn't get anything going. Six of 15 shooting. He had 10 boards. Frustrating night for the big man. He's going to explode in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a 50-burger from the Greek freak. Uh, also, Drew Holiday has had a couple games back from injury. He's starting to play a lot better. This just feels like the right time to start back in the Bucs again. Uh, the Bucs have a winning record on the road, 10-9 and on the year. Not the best, not the worst. But they have won two straight games on the road versus the Raptors and the Knicks, two quality teams. So I'm all over the Bucs here, Moneyline, to go into Atlanta and take care of business. So Bucs, Moneyline. Teets? <laughs> Yeah, I like that a lot, honestly. Um, I'm looking at the Indiana Pacers and New York Knicks game. Um, you know, both teams have actually been pretty much on fire as the last five games have went. Um, they're both four and one, but I'm actually leaning the Pacers plus four and a half in this matchup. Um, <clears throat> RJ Barrett is questionable to play. Uh, that will really uh, ultimately affect a lot of things. So we're looking for Quentin Grimes to probably capitalize on the absence a little bit more than usual. Um the Pacers over the last seven games have been six and one against the spread, while the Knicks are one and five against the spread at home. So the Knicks have not been able to cover at home, and the Pacers have just been uh, playing their best ball, I'd say, probably the past seven games. Um, <clears throat> defensively, the Knicks are pretty solid. I think they're like around eighth or tenth overall in scoring allowed, uh, and they're about middle of the pack, 15th in scoring offensively, while the Pacers are 10th. Uh, really the points per game difference is like four total points per game offensively for both teams. So it should be a good game down to the wire. Um, I just don't think that the Knicks are going to be able to run away with this one. So give me the Pacers plus four and a half. Yeah. And I will add to that teeth for the Pacers. Uh, they're four and one in their last five and four and one against the spread. So I really like that play for them going to the Knicks, but all right, guys, that'll do it for our Wednesday, January 11th, NBA game picks and predictions. 
If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.